Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I created this indigo look. It is quite a bit different than looks I normally do, but yeah. I do think that if you wore a nude lip, you could make it more of an everyday. But if you did follow this tutorial, you could definitely wear it to a festival. It's part of my rainbow sequence for Pride Month, so happy Pride Month. Um, I used a bunch of products from the latest BoxyCharm Luxe, so I hope you enjoy it. And if you'd like to see how I got this look, um, please stay tuned. <laughs> Started, don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so the first product I'm gonna use is No Problem by Touch and Soul Prime Essence. So this is a primer with a flower essence in it. Um, so it should be pretty good for your skin. It comes out kind of like, like a lubricant for your skin, if you will. <laughs> Next I'm going to use a Benefit Hello Happy um, foundation. This still has not been released yet, but I did already do a tutorial with it. Um, I am really liking it, so yeah, I'm going to use it again. Um, before I do that, I'm going to use this Radiant Dew from Skin & Co. Um, it is a truffle therapy illuminating skin refresh mist. I think that adding this kind of um, just a little more like hydration liquid to my face before I put on the Hello Happy is going to help it blend a little better. And maybe even change the appearance of it. So that kind of has like a minty smell to it. I like it. So I'm going to blend that out with a brush, which last time I used it with a sponge, so it might look a little different this time. I always feel like this is just a little bit pale to me, like you can see right here. But after it sits on my skin for a while, it seems to like oxidize and just blend in with my skin tone, so it's kind of cool. So next I'm going to do my brows. Um, I do have a brow video out, so I'm just kind of skipping my brows on these tutorials because I don't want to waste any more time and my tutorials are already kind of long, so check out my brow video if you're interested. So that's my brows done. Um, next I'm going to take the Tarte Shape Tape and just um, kind of go below them and prime my eyes. Um, so I'm using the shade Fair Beige, which is working quite well with the foundation number one from Benefit's Hello Happy Flawless Brightening Foundation. So I'm just using a Jeffree Star brush to blend this in. Okay, so I'm going to use my Morphe James Charles palette, but I'm going to use the white first. Um, just to give a good base for my eyes, just a flat matte white. I'm a crater, baby, you're a meteor. If I'm a forest, baby, you're a firestorm. Everything in your way. So my color of the day is indigo. So I'm gonna use the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. Um, this palette has been through the freaking ringer, so this is embarrassing. But they've got really good indigos in here, and I don't really know any other palette that has kind of like indigo colors so I'm gonna use these ones. I'm gonna start with a really small blending brush because I just don't want this to go all over the place. Let's start with an indigo. Indigo blue. To me indigo is like purplish blue. It's looking a little bit more blue to me than I wanted. I think I need more purplish in there. I'm gonna actually blend together um, a kind of indigo blue and a purple just to get the right color in there. Oh yeah, that's indigo. She's indigo. Now I'm gonna go with this kind of indigo color from the James Charles palette. And I'm going to blend it out with the Jeffree Star Morphe blending brush, the JS6. No witnesses committed. At first it felt so wrong. They wanted us no more. Okay, so for my lid, I am going to take the 
bottom of the BH Cosmetics palette, there's kind of like a highlight here. Um, I'm gonna take that and put it on my lid and just kind of blend that. Okay, now I'm gonna go with the James Charles palette and take the kind of purple and blue shimmers here and put those on top of the highlight. To make it really indigo. Okay, next I'm gonna take the Tarte Shape Tape and go below my eyes um, and just cover some blemishes. So we're just gonna highlight the face. All the usual spots, and then I'm gonna blend that out. Okay, next I'm gonna take the Hello Happy Velvet Powder Foundation in shade two and just kind of set my makeup. Um, I'm gonna use a fluffy brush for this because I already have on a powder foundation, or I mean a, a liquid foundation and I just don't wanna put like too much on. But I wanna see how these foundations work together since they were formulated together. So I'm just gonna kinda use it as a setting powder today. Oh yeah, it has a really pretty finish together. And I feel like together, because I'm using shade one and shade two, um, it kind of turns like the perfect color for my skin. Yeah, that gave me really good coverage, I like that. All right, it's got a pretty finish to it too. Okay, so next I'm gonna take that little brush. Um, it is the Morphe 506, by the way, that's what I'm using it the whole time. Um, I'm gonna go below my eyes. Just blend that out. So I'm going to go back with the highlight from the BH Cosmetics and go in the center of my eye here. I'm using the same um, brush that I was using on my, cre or on my um, lid, so there might be a little bit of um, purple and blue shimmer on there, which is fine because I want to stay super indigo, but um, that's just a little bit brighter, so perfect. And then I'm gonna go below my brow and just highlight there. And drag it down a bit. And next I'm gonna take a Sephora eyeliner crayon that is also indigo and go in my waterline. Okay, then I'm gonna take the Tartiste Pro Glow 3, which we got in BoxyCharm this month. Oh. Packaging so pretty and like good quality, heavy, and there's a mirror on both sides. So pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna use a Morphe 530 and I'm gonna use the bronze color. It's a bit warm for my taste, but we'll make it work. Ironically, I feel like with the indigo, the really orange, like warm tone is kind of making it pop even more, so it's fine. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the other bronzer color in here and try to blend that in. So the other bronzer here is um, looking to be more cool tone, but it's shimmery. Ooh. Quite a bit darker. Okay. So I'll blend that out. I actually think I like this shimmer one better because it is darker and it was a slightly less orange color. So yeah. Together it's actually not bad. No, it's bad at all. Okay. Now next. I want to use the lighter blush color. I've been really liking this color of blush, so I'm excited about this one. Pat that into the balls of my cheeks and just kind of take it back. I like that quite a lot. Okay, now the highlights. I'm gonna try to use 
but they're both a little bit darker than I prefer generally. Um, I think I'm going to use the pinker one. The pinker one, so I'm swatching them. This is the pink one, and then this is the gold one. I think the pinker one is turning out lighter, and I'm just so pale that I can't really use like a dark gold, so it looks weird on me. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try the pinker one, even though pink isn't really my style. Um, first, I'm going to use the MAC Prep and Prime to set my face. It is the watermelon. I am shining to the go. Next, I am going to um, take the Sephora eyeliner and it is waterproof. It's a waterproof eye pencil. I'm gonna put it on my lips because I need indigo lips and I actually don't own indigo lip gloss. So. <laughs> I put eyeliner all over my lips and then I put the BH Cosmetics um, indigo um, eyeshadow color on my lips and I think I am gonna put a gloss over them as well so I'm gonna use the appeal holographic gloss and yeah I look like some kind of space woman but it's very indigo so I'm gonna throw on some mascara and some lashes and that'll be done Okay, so here is the finished look. Um, <laughs> definitely different than my normal looks, but I am doing the whole rainbow sequence um, for Pride Month. So this is my indigo look, and yeah, I think it'd be great for um, festivals or if you just put a nude lip on instead of an indigo lip, it would be more of an everyday wear, but I think that this color is really good with um, brown eyes. It really brings them out. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I love you so much. Bye. I put I look like an alien. Fine. Okay, I'm gonna go take this lipstick off so I can go and help it now.